Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to show you how to do a compression test on this Mercedes C200 with a four-cylinder engine. A compression test is important to do, especially when you buy a car and you want to see in which conditions are the piston rings and the valves, how well they close and if the air which is compressed can be holded by the piston rings. The symptoms of bad piston rings can be excessive oil through the PCV valve or if you find oil into the intake hose it means that blow by those gases are coming through the PCV valve and pushes some oil into the oil separator and if the oil separator get clogged up the oil will go further into the intake and therefore you find oil on the mass airflow sensor or even on the intake manifold so there is no real quick repair on this issue unless you rebuild the engine which can be quite expensive or time consuming if you do it yourself so let's go ahead with this compression test so the first step with the five millimeter hex undo these three bolts here we go next step with the e8 i'm going to remove the first coil pack but before that go ahead and start the car in order to lubricate a little bit the cylinders especially if the car have been sitting for a while before you do this test right 30 seconds is enough because if the engine get warm up the piston rings will also expand and the test the compression test will not be accurate so here i am i'm going to remove the fuse of the fuel pump and i'm going to again start the car because while doing the compression test we don't need the engine to run we just need the piston to move which are going to be moved by the starter once the bolts are out i can pull out the coil pack and just set it apart then with a spark plug socket with a magnet or a rubber i'm going to remove the spark plug now on the compression kit i'm gonna use the 14 millimeter adapter the hose and the gouge i'll just screw in the adapter and i'm going to insert the adapter into the hole so now i'm gonna go ahead and crank the car and you should see the pressure increase to around 125 or 150 all right so my camera fall down but here is the result now on a piece of paper i'm going to draw four cylinders for the cylinder number one we've got around 140 psi of course if you have a lower compression and you insert oil in there you do the test again and with the oil on the pistons the compression is within specs and normal again it means that the piston rings are the ones which leak the air also if you do this test with the oil on the cylinders and the air still escapes and the pressure is not within specs it's most likely that the valves are not closing and sealing perfectly or you might have a cracked cylinder or a head gasket leak now to release the pressure just press on this valve so if you want to see in details how i change the spark plugs on this car there is going to be a link over here all right let's see the second cylinder i hope the camera will not fall again all right so here are the results so it's around 135 we've got again around 135 all right so now a couple of facts on these values if for example you will see a good result on cylinder one and a good result on cylinder four but on two and three you will find like 110 on each 110 each it might mean that the cylinder wall is cracked between these two cylinders therefore the pressure is equal and lower than normal another cool test you can do if you have compressed air is to put compressed air on each cylinders go ahead and open the coolant cap look over here and if you see bubbles it means that's a 100 percent confirmation of a failed head gasket another test which is quite unconventional i showed you in previous videos how to replace the intake manifold and the exhaust manifold gasket what you can do when you remove those you will have access to the valves therefore you can insert some oil on top of the valves wait for a couple of hours and see if the level of the oil is the same and if it's not that's a 100 percent confirmation and you might have to take the engine to a machine or replace the engine in that case if you have big problems with compression same thing can be done on the exhaust side you have access to the valves 
pour some oil, wait a couple of hours and see if the level of the oil is the same. Another simple test of the compression can be done with the oil cap. You start the car, you open the oil cap and you let it on the hole and the gases should not be able to push the cap off. If the gases push the cap off, it means the piston rings are bad and they cannot hold the pressure. The air escapes between the piston rings and the cylinder wall, therefore going into the crankcase and coming out through the first escape, which can be PCV valve or oil cap if you open it. So yeah, that was pretty much it. I hope you guys find this useful and hopefully you will not find any big deviations from these compression numbers. Thanks for watching. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing for more car repair videos. And until next time, take care and I will see you soon.